Hi again, I'm Dr. Christina Dervetis. I'm an OBGYN in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. And uh, welcome to my YouTube channel devoted to intrauterine contraception and answering questions about IUC. So today's brief video is just an introduction to those patients who have been scheduled to come and see me for an appointment in my IUC clinic. Uh, now there's two general categories of patients that I see in the IUC clinic. Those patients that are coming just for a consultation, they haven't yet decided whether or not they're interested in IUC and they want to learn more about their different options, pros and cons, so they're just coming for a consultation uh, visit. Other patients are coming actually to have the IUC inserted on the same day as seeing me. Um, in order to facilitate this, one of my office policies is to have patients do a blood pregnancy test at the lab 24 to 48 hours prior to seeing me. That's basically so I can reassure myself that I'm not inserting the IUC into a pregnant uterus because that would be bad, as you can imagine. So um, some clinics, their policy is that they have patients come when they're menstruating because that's another way of ensuring that the patient's not pregnant. Some do it just based on history. Uh, others might do urine pregnancy testing. Uh, for my um, office, the policy has been uh, to do a blood test prior, so I have that reassurance um, that the patient's not pregnant. Now, the exception would be those patients who are having the IUC inserted actually for purposes of controlling their menstrual bleeding as opposed to contraception in patients who may have already had a tubal ligation or their partners had a vasectomy, and so I have other reassurance that they're not pregnant. That would be the uh, exception. So for category one patients, patients who aren't yet certain about IUC, basically the visit is just gonna be a discussion of your past medical history. I get those details, talk about what current contraception you're using, what past contraception you've been using, what your experiences have been there, um, talking about all of the different options, answering all of your questions, and then in the end, deciding whether or not IUC is right for you. If you decide to go ahead with IUC, then I'll be writing a prescription. We would give you the lab requisition for the beta HCG pregnancy testing prior, and we would book a separate appointment um, to have you come back to have the IUC inserted. For those patients who've already decided on having the IUC inserted, I will do the same thing, take the same medical history, talk about options, uh, review in detail all of the potential risks, side effects, benefits, uh, all the information you need to know about IUC prior to the insertion. And then for the actual insertion, um, I'll step out while uh, you undress from the waist down and cover up with a drape. Then you'll be positioned on the exam table with heels and stirrups um, in order to facilitate the exam. Uh, and uh, again, to explain things in detail, because I understand that many, many of my patients are young girls who have never had this sort of internal exam or gynecology exam before ever. And I recognize that and we'll walk you through it. It's not an issue, it's not a problem. But basically part one is a bimanual exam where um, with a gloved hand, I uh, insert my fingers into the vagina in order to be able to uh, palpate, feel the, the size and the shape and the position of the uterus, as well as the ovaries. Um, and then having done that first step, step two would be a speculum exam. And for those that haven't ever had a speculum exam before, no one's really excited about this idea. It can be a bit intimidating, the thought of it. The speculum looks scary, but just this very, very small portion is what actually, this is just a handle here. Just this very, very small portion is what actually goes vaginally um, and is inserted so that I'm able to look through the speculum to see the cervix. Once I visualize the cervix, there's one cramp as I measure the uterus and then a second cramp as the IUD goes in. The whole thing takes less than five minutes. The motto around here again is five minutes, five years of worry-free contraception. So if you can get through the five minute insertion process, then you get to walk out the door with five years of worry-free contraception. And most women find that it's well, well worth the cramps that happen with that. Um, I'll talk a little bit more in detail. I'll do a separate video just about the actual insertion and what to expect and how much cramping are we talking about. The bottom line is, is that everyone's anatomy is different. Um, the vast majority of patients, however, would say that the, the cramping is minimal to moderate, i.e. very, very manageable and um, 
Again, most women are able to get through the five minute insertion process without too much difficulty. Uh, and at the end of the day, find that it's been a worthwhile experience to be able to walk out with five years of worry-free contraception. So that's just a little bit about what to expect if you're coming to see me in the office. Again, I'm gonna do separate videos where I talk about exactly what are the details that I talk about um, in terms of uh, contraception options and pros and cons, all of the sort of information and um, follow-up instructions that I give. I'll do that in a separate video, but that's just a very quick video on what to expect if you're coming to see me in the office um, to come uh, have an IUC uh, clinic visit. So that's all for now. Uh, stay tuned. There'll be more videos to come. Thanks. Take care.